Welcome back guys to another so Grizzles channel. Today I will be redoing all the tutorials in RB World 4. Since now there is a Roblox badge involved, um, I will be trying to complete it to get the badge. And at the same time I will be helping you guys out since you guys had a lot of questions in the comments. So I will be showing you guys all, both controller and keyboard um, actions for most of these but mostly done on controller. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with the basic tutorial. All right, let's go with the basic tutorial. Welcome to the basic tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn all the basic gameplay mechanics to get you started. So let's begin. This is the one that everyone should have done. Um, the only issue I had with this one is the blocking or like the main like issue people had in this one was the blocking. First one, very simple. It's just jump shots from each, each, um, each tile, very simple. Nothing really hard to do here, just good, just shoot it well and nothing really hard to do. Nothing really to show from keyboard and mouse. If you need to know keyboard and mouse, it's E to shoot. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is very simple. Everyone should be able to get this mostly on their first try unless the game sells them or you have really bad timing. And yeah, there we go. Last one, bada bing. Now throwing a pass, this one's very simple once again. Uh, for keyboard and mouse, it is all your icons. If you, it, it's just icon passing. But if you want uh, to just pass it to the person nearest to you, it's uh, press you press R, which will be the person nearest to you. Keep uh, controller A, and for icon passing, you hold R B, and you can see it just shows an icon under your teammates uh, under teammates name, and you press that icon. Nothing really hard there. Uh, defense this one is very simple um, the only sh issue I've had with this one is the blocking the stealing got fixed so that's fine S but um, the uh, oh, by the way stealing is with R on keyboard and mouse but the blocking one is a little bit tougher but there is a small trick that I do with to get the blocking so remember for blocking uh, spacebar for keyboard and mouse and Y for controller Best trick I can give you guys here is basically you cannot predict it. Do not predict it. Watch until he gets down to shoot and then fall and then jump right when he's about to like jump right when the ball hits his arm. Both his hands clamp the ball. There you go. You see both hand hits it and then you jump. It's nothing really di difficult and they reduce it to only one. So be careful. Uh, so um, yeah, this should be very simple. Uh, best tip for that one. Just make sure it just clamps it together and don't don't wait until it's halfway or whatever just make sure he just clamps it until he gets both hands on the ball you just shoot it so nothing really difficult there all right let's get on with the passing tutorial all right let's get on with the passing tutorial very simple one nobody had any questions on this one this is very straightforward so i'm just gonna get breeze through this really quickly and just give you guys what you guys need to know um all, all you guys need to know so as we heard learned before overhead passing is just passing without sprinting so um uh rb and then a or b or x or y for controller and for keyboard and mouse one two three or four or r if you want to pass to the closest person nothing much there uh nothing really different there this is very simple everyone should be able to get this pretty easily chest passes very simple similar to overhead just make sure you're sprinting so us uh, all same icon passing here keyboard and mouse again left shift and then passing nothing really hard there um but yeah very simple nonetheless um tricky passes is a little bit tougher uh for keep for keyboard it's very simple so it's just holding e and then passing to an icon uh but for keyboard or for controller is just it's you have to shoot then rb then a so shoot rb then a but actually make the pass and don't sell like i did let me get closer here so jump shoot pass there we go uh jump shoot pass or shoot icon pass there you go that should be the the like the rhythm uh travel that yeah so make be careful when you're holding trickies for long it'll give you a travel uh fake pass this is going to be a little bit um a little bit easier so for key controller there is two ways to fake pass so you could see on the top left is holding lb then passing so as you could see holding lb the easiest way is whenever you have the ball picked up, 
uh, that one is better when you have you have the ball like dribbling. The best one I can give is when you have like you're you're like this, like you can't do anything. You like you could do jab steps, etc. Best way to do it is hold R B and then flick your right stick. It just you'll you'll flick it wherever wherever you did it. And for keyboard and mouse, it's Q then passing. So Q pass, nothing really hard there. Um, and lastly, alley oops, very simple. Um, for keyboard and mouse, uh, or keyboard and yeah, keyboard and mouse. It's a uh, whole T and then pass. So I'll do one here. Um, oh, I'm, I think I'm stuck. Oh yeah, it's because I dribbled. So it's whole T then pass. There we go. Very simple. Uh, for controller, it's holding down on the left stick and pass. So hold down on the left stick, pass. Yeet. Last one. Yeeter. Let's go. And that's it for the passing tutorial. That is very, very easy. I'll be completely honest. This one shouldn't be missed by anybody. I'll be completely honest. But yeah, let's get on with the next one, which I believe is shooting. I am not 100% sure. And I was correct. It is what it is the shooting tutorial. Welcome to the shooting tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn different ways to shoot and chain it with hop steps. So let's begin. This is for you shot creators and true shooters out there. So get ready for it. Let's go. Um, there are three different uh, ways to perform a sh per of performing shots. There are standing, off dribbles, and drift shots. Standing, true shooters, off dribble, kind of a mix between shot creating and true shooters, and drift shots, uh, true shot creators. Or shot creators, I should say. First, you'll start by the standing shot. We did this in the basic tutorial, so this one's very simple. Uh, just shoot in each spot, so let's just do this again. Animation from Mike Johnson, yes sir. Um, Mike Johnson actually swapped uh, builds since RB World 3 and RB World 4. In RB World 4, or RB World 3, sorry, he was a play shot. Now he is a shot, shot creating playmaker. Weird fact to think about, in my opinion. Weird fact to think about. Off dribble shots consist of the ball handler shooting after performing an off dri dribble move or moving with the ball without sh without sprinting. So basically, off dribble shots are very are very the, the the easy version of a shot. So off dribble, score an off dribble shot in each spot here. So basically, all you gotta do is just not sprint, move in a certain direction, and then it'll make you do an off dribble shot. If you want to do it a little easier, if you or uh, easier. If you do a dribble move and then shoot, it'll do the same effect, so nothing really different there. Keyboard and mouse, same thing, move WASD and then hold E. Nothing really much there to freaking think about. A small tip, make sure you are inside the circle when you take the shot, or like you're actually shooting from inside the circle, so if it's not inside the... Did I miss that? Make sure your shot is inside the circle and you will be fine. All right. For some reason, drift shots. You guys have ha I've, uh, in my other video. You guys have been completely like bombing me with saying this isn't like. For some reason, it's not working. So I will let you know. Uh, so as you can see, they made the things way wider. So let's try this again. So perfect release. Yeah, you guys should just make sure when you start the thing, you are inside this. You. Oh my god, I like. Uh, but make sure you are inside the circle the whole way so that's the base main tip i can give you here um yeah nothing else i could say just make sure you are inside the circle the whole way and everything should be fine make sure and one tip as well go sideways never go front and back it's near impossible going front and back i'll try once just for the video here but front and back it's very inconsistent but if you think you can time it better go ahead my opinion though um doing right left to right is probably the easiest way to do it here honestly shot creating isn't that bad it's a lot of fun i'll be honest if you guys are a really good shot creators, you guys could be like you could do like this 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 and then hop step into a drift shot like this and that could really po post you guys some points hop step shots that is very simple uh for both keyboard and controller so to perform a hop set you have to be sprinting and tap x then hold x afterwards to do a specific shot so in this instance is the off dribble so all you got to do is sprint after that let go of sprint then do your off dribble shot very simple shot um oh my god it's very simple but you just got to get it correctly just small tip there's a little bit of lag in the arena so make sure you 
make sure the hop step animation goes through before you do anything else um and you should be fine off dribbles are very simple because they're the same timing as a normal jump shot so if you don't if you can't change your timing of your jump shot off dribbles are for you if you don't mind uh readjusting your jump shot it shot creators are for you hop step drift shot okay so we're gonna be doing hop step drift shot this one is very simple because you could hold sprint the whole way so hop step okay that one's tough to to try and align yourself so that you stay in the circle is a little tougher so hop step and then drift shot good release bada boom not the simplest thing but after some practice everybody should be able to do this pretty easily so yeah as long as the shot like after as long as you start your shot inside the circle it should go in just make sure you are um like your release is is inside the circle as well so just make sure that's a factor and the like the highlight should go in nearly every time oh that's it okay shooting tutorial done w if you, you can play the tutorial again use the help ui basically very simple this is all about getting creative and getting your shots open but yeah let's get on with the next one i'm trying to remember which one was the next one i think it was either post or dunking or, or layups layups or dunking i forgot which one it was i think it was layups if i remember all right let's go check now and i was correct layups and floaters so let's go on with layups and floaters welcome to the layups and floaters tutorial in this tutorial you will learn how to perform layups and floaters blah 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 and we is that no is that quantavius parks yes sir we got quantavius yeah first you'll learn performing a layup very simple layup um move towards the basket and hold uh, x or e so layup very simple and a slasher cannot make a wide open layup okay that was bad timing that that's on me i'm so used to the jump shots i'm so not used to this all right let's go with keyboard and mouse to show you guys a small bit with keyboard and mouse so keyboard and mouse bada boom very simple honestly timing on keyboard and mouse is a little easier on, on keyboard and mouse than i think on controller so let's go ahead and just finish all of this out uh, you don't have to sprint on this um so just moving towards the basket will do the thing next you'll perform a reverse layup this one is very simple um i don't know time will heavily restrict your shot accuracy but reverse layup just make sure uh, start your layup from um, you could start just make sure you start your layup in this if you're going uh, from here across just make sure you start in this area and then vice versa on the other side so just start it like by example right here that's perfect and it'll count nothing very difficult there same thing as the layup just make sure you're sprinting next you'll we'll try try performing a floater this one is a little tougher from everybody I've had a few questions on this one so I'll explain so make sure you're moving towards the basket make sure a small run up is advanced so i would suggest just standing a bit further away all you need to do is walk forward and double tap your um your key so double tap and then hold so that is very simple uh double tap e or x this should be uh pretty simple uh, i'll try on keyboard and mouse i'm not the best at this so you stand a little bit further behind walk to for walk uh further in front and then double tap e very simple uh, if you guys can't get this, make sure you're in the settings. I'll show you guys after. Make sure you're double tap, um, like, response time, I think it is. It should be at medium so that you have enough time to do this. If it's on low, it's very tough to get it off. But yeah, floater is a very good way to get some shots deep if you are a slasher and you can't shoot. Oh, did a layup instead. So yeah, if you're too close, I want to see the range here. So you can do it pretty close. Just make sure you're not too close, or else it won't it won't count as a um, it won't count as a um, floater like it just did right there. Now hop step shots should be the same idea as uh, shooters. You can do hop step layup, euro step layup. So let's get on with this. So hop hop step right here. So hop step layup, very simple, but actually time it correctly so you don't airball. Just the best tip I could give you, make sure the ball is on the opposite. If you're doing the corner ones, make sure your ball is on the same line as the uh, backboard. Go out of bounds if you need to, and then just do a hop step into a layup. So hold shift E or hold right trigger tap X. Just make sure you're a little bit further away for this so that it actually counts. That is a, so that like right here, that should count as a layup. And as, yeah, as long as it would have went in, it would have counted probably. 
There you go. Nothing too difficult there. Um, hop step floater, same idea. Double tap and tap X, double tap E X. So let's go at it again. So this double tap. That's very simple as well. I'll try and keep what it mouse. This one should be a bit tougher for me. So tap, double tap. No, I, I, I forgot that you can't hold shift. Let me try again. So if you do not, if you go towards the rim and you don't sh sprint, that becomes a little pump fake. So that is a pump fake. Do not make sure you're sprinting the whole way unless you want to do a pump fake. So let's try again. So hop. There you go. That is very good. I like the floater timing on keyboard and mouse. I'll be honest. There you go. That is very simple. Next one should be Euro steps. Yep. This one is about double tapping. Um, it's about double tapping your your the E or X key while sprinting, but you have to be moving towards the basket. So there you go. That is one. Just make sure it's just make sure you're going full speed towards the rim. There you go. That's another one. Very simple. I like that. It's very clean the animation. It does like a the inside out kind of thing, but um, very clean in a very clean way. I like this. Uh, lastly, try performing a euro step floater. That one is very tough in my opinion. So um, let's try this again. So I'm not gonna be doing this on keyboard and mouse because I'm probably just gonna lose it after like five minutes. But there you go. That's one. Please go in. Bad, re bad release. There you go, that's one. It's very tough to get down. It's a lot of tapping, so... Um, I will never understand you slashers how you get this done super easily, but... Honestly, it's just about watching what they do and copying, right? So... It's very tough to get down. If people could do this, this is montage-worthy stuff. If you get, like, really good, like, baits in this... It's very good stuff, honestly. Like people making montage with these types of like moves in them, very impressive, very impressive. There you go. That should be the last one for layups and floaters. And let's get on with the next one, which I think is dunks. I'm not too sure, so I'm gonna go check now. And for uh, what I was talking about earlier, where you get um, uh, yeah, double tap window. So double tap window. If you need more time. The downside is low, you'll be performing your moves quicker, but you will be, um, it'll be tougher to, to actually get what you want. Same thing for dribble input, but yeah, nothing really different there, very difficult, no, nothing really too difficult there. So yeah, let's get on with the next tutorial, which is, I believe, dunks, yep. So dunks, after that's post shots, simple dribbling, then advanced dribbling. As you can see, you get rewarded uh, per, um, what's it called? As you're playing, as you get these done, you get uh, tickets. So uh, I suggest everyone to do these so that you actually do get the tickets. So yeah, let's get on with the dunking. Welcome to Dunk Tutorial. Let's get on with the dunking. So we got Henry Ford. Hello there, Henry Ford. Uh, first, you'll try performing a driving dunk. To do that, just shoot the ball while sprinting towards the hoop. Score a basket a few, few times with a driving dunk. This is going to be very tough to get down. But I th he made the dunk tendency way higher. So uh, best way to do this, just keep sprinting and then uh, start your dunk in that center area. This is just really trial and error. So uh, um, it's just about trying to get it. There you go, that's one. That's actually a really clean dunk animation. I really like that. So let's go at it again. And hey, I love the swinging whenever you're in the dunk animation. It's very clean, very clean. And that's another one. It becomes very like muscle memory whenever you get it down. Uh, one of my friends is a slasher and it's a lot of fun for him. So the slashing is probably going to be a fun part of the game. Score a standing dunk. So uh, here you just stand under the rim and try and get a standing dunk. Uh, try not to stand too far under the rim because then I'll do a backwards moving shot. So just stay in the general like outside area like right there. And then it should give you the dunk. Just make sure you're sprinting the whole way and you should be fine. And also time it correctly. Uh, and for both dunks, it's the same on, on keyboard and mouse. Just sprint and hold E. Nothing too too big here. Just very simple stuff. Uh, hop step standing dunks. So you can do hop step standing dunks now. Uh, so you do a hop step with... Uh, I'll just show you guys the controls for keyboard, keyboard and mouse. Left shift, tap E, left shift E. So 
Let me just do on controller. That's a very clean animation. It's a very easy way to get standing dunks as well for clips and whatnot. I'll be honest. It's very easy. So, uh, if you want to get easy dunks on a post scorer or a slasher, um, try doing a hop step. Probably could help you out there. I just dunk from behind the, the okay. And the higher the dunk your dunk is, the more tendencies you'll have to dunk the ball. So that's very good. And that's it for dunking. Nothing really there as well. Uh, what you can also do is a drop step dunk, but they didn't explain explain that unless there is going to be in the next tutorial, probably in the post tutorial. But let's go on with the next one, which is I believe the post tutorial. Which this one I got stuck on for I don't know how long. <laughs> so let's try and um. Let's try this. Let's try. Let's try and get it. So the post shots one. The main one that got me confused is the hop step into a post hook. This one I will try and do on keyboard and mouse. This one might not be doable on keyboard and mouse. Uh, on for me because I'm not good. But we'll try. I'll try and show you guys anyway. So welcome to post shot tutorial. Um, this one I got a true post score. I forgot who he is. Uh, first you'll learn uh, how to do post moves. So this one is a post turn. So, for, so as you can see on the top left, there is a bunch of post moves. So uh, to get into the post on keyboard and mouse is, uh, I believe is, let's go show here. It's G to go on defense, uh, to go on keyboard and mouse. And to do a step back, you just release it while you're in the post. Nothing much, or you can go backwards if you really want to. Post turn is um, going in the same side that your chest is open to. So. Your chest is open on the right side, go right. Uh, keyboard and mouse, you have to move move towards the side that has the turn, and that's it. Post spin is going on your back side, so there again, keyboard and mouse uh, going on the back side, nothing too special there. Uh, you can also switch handles in the post, that is um, a true fact, so you could press H or B to switch in the post, nothing too difficult there. If you do not like manual switching, you can always change in your settings. I already switched it off. I would rec highly recommend though. There are four different types of performing post shots. There are hook shots, fades, post layup, post standing dunks. All of these shots can be chained into a hop step or drop step as well. So uh, a lot of variety you can do on the post. Uh, post layup, let's try that one first. So we have to stay in the post and Sprint towards the basket and hold X, which will give us a post layup animation. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, I'll do it on control on keyboard and mouse. So you stay there. Shift E. Okay, not too close, or else it'll give you a dunk. Just give keep your distance, and you should be able to get it pretty easily. Yeah, the further you are away and have a small little run up, you should be easier. So yeah, just keep your distance, and it should it should be a breeze to get through. Yeah, just get a small run up and then bada being nothing to it went through bro that's stupid uh post fade same idea you just go back you, you just go into the post uh by doing a drift shot consider drift shots okay so post fade in each spot so do not sprint just walk backward uh, just don't move and hold x in the post it should give you a post fade nothing too difficult there uh, for keyboard and mouse, I'll show you on these last two. Um, basically, very simple stuff. Um, hold G and then hold E in the post. Very simple, simple. Uh, and this game won't stop hoeing me. One more time. That should go in. There we go. And for the last one, I'll do it on keyboard and mouse. Nothing too tough here. And bada boom, there we go. Nothing too difficult there. Hook shot, this one is a little bit tougher. Uh, all you gotta do is double tap X in a the circle, so very simple. Uh, it's simple, but because of the double tap, again, it's a little bit tougher. I don't know why it's going off the backboard, but um, yeah, I'll do this one and then I'll do two with um, keyboard and mouse, so good release again. Uh, so yeah, you just double tap E. You don't have to move or anything if you want higher success rate. Walk towards the basket, but um, yeah, just you can just not move. Double tap E. Nothing too tough there. So that is done with that. So now I think we're gonna be uh, standing dunk. So now we're gonna be doing post standing dunk. Nothing too hard here. We just did it earlier. So you have to get under the rim and then hold sprint with 
uh, holding post. So let me do that one more time. Um, did not go, whatever. Uh, here, I'll show with uh, keyboard and mouse here. So hold G, shift, and then just power your way into the paint. Do, take authority, if you will. So you could see here, walk to the paint, and then bow. Easy. Pretty, pretty, not, not that too difficult here. So bada boom. Um, getting the animations very simple like the other one just make sure you get a small run up and you're close enough into the rim should be the easier one the more speed you have the easier it is to dunk let's just say and now we'll be trying uh, something uh, try something more difficult half step shots this one can get a little difficult half step hook shots are very difficult here um, a hop step hook shot can be performed in any angle except forward so so basically all you have to do is in the post for people that are having struggles with this it's nothing too it's not as difficult as you may think so basically best way angle yourself if you for going for this circle right here angle yourself a little bit to the side and make sure your backside is to that circle all you got to do is hold shit hold your post right trigger tap x to a hop step let go of your sprint and then double tap x nothing it's 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 not as difficult as it seems, trust me. It's just a lot of trial and error. So let's try this one more time. So we walk in, hold right trigger, hop step out. After that, it just gave me the animation, just really late release. But let's try it on this one again. So right trigger, hop step out, let go of right trigger, and then hook it. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, let's try and keyboard and mouse. I've never actually tried it. So you stay backside shift make sure you're, you you hop step this way so move this way so shift hop step and then it's a little bit tougher because you have to let go of shift so if or else it'll do a drift shot like it did to me uh very tough to very tough to do on keyboard and mouse very a, a lot of um a lot of movement needs to be done but it is doable like i just did right there just time it perfectly and you should be fine uh it's a little bit tougher but uh i'll try it again here so and uh, just to give you guys a better success rate, do not move in any direction after you pull the hop step off. After you pull it off, do not move in any direction. This will, should assure you an easy success on the move. But other than that, it's 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 just trial and error. There's no other way to say this. It's it's a lot of practice. It's a lot of just getting the finesse down. And other than that, it shouldn't be too difficult. Once you get the muscle memory down, it shouldn't be too difficult, but just just keep going at it. It shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the next one is a little bit harder, so let's just try and get this one over with. I'm trying to get my timing back with post scores, and then we should be fine here. So late release, there we go. Should go in, and one last one. I'll try it on keyboard and mouse. Why not? Give myself a little challenge today. So shift. I uh, let go again. I, I you gotta make sure you hold shift the whole way uh, until you once you hop step. So hop step. Let's go shift. But I let go of G as well because I'm stupid. It's very tough. Very tough. I agree. Very tough. I keep letting go on G. Honestly, I'm about to just play this on two hands on the keyboard. Why not? Let's try this two hands on the keyboard. Why not? So boom. Uh, honestly, yeah, just have one key, one, my, one finger just hold G the whole time. Let's try this again. Boom. There you go. That's one way to do it. <laughs> just hold G on one hand and do the rest on the other. Another way to perform a hop, a back hop step is double tap bump fake while sprinting. Okay, that's just a drop step. So hop step fade. So this one, the best way I can suggest you guys is if you go from under rim. All right, the easy way to tell you that you got to do this trick is you have to sprint the whole way. There's no other other. There's no the easiest way to do this is sprint the whole way. Let me just do it on keyboard and mouse here. So you just have to sprint the whole way. So let's do this again. So let's do two hands again. Why not? So sprint the whole way. And then very simple stuff. If you guys are really good on keyboard and mouse, just try to, only one hand. But for me kind of bad at it so no other way to say this but do it one hand if possible but i don't have the flexibility uh drop steps very simple as well uh this one is just double tapping x while powering to the paint so um so 
drop step hook so this one very simple because all you, you don't have to sprint the, at all so all you got to do is just double tap double tap it's very easy to do fades in this i'll be honest very easy but hooks a little bit tougher there you go this one's not too tough you just got to get it done um you just got to be able to time it well and you should be fine also a small tip um that i've just realized is um try and stay a bit further behind your circle so just stay like a little bit further behind so that it actually pulls the animation uh don't stay too close to the rim or else it won't pull the drop step animation make sure each double tap are quick and everything should be fine i've been stuck on this for a little bit because i suck with hook shot i'm getting the animation very consistently but i can't get the hook shot timing well so just getting it down okay that has to be one thank you yeah it's just very hard to get the timing of the double tap and everything but this move is not as useful as the fade the fade can easily just cook your defender like crazy uh so i wouldn't recommend this one anyways in any way shape or form but yeah just this is a move in the arsenal no other way to say this so i'm gonna move it back I'll, 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 I'll let you guys know when I'm done with this because this is going to take forever if this keeps going to, he's going to keep missing. There you go. Alright, that one took a little longer than I expected, but that's fun. Drop set fade. This one I'm going to get every time because this one is super easy. So, bada boom, and then you just go backwards. Nothing too special. Very simple stuff. This one I'll probably get in four tries immediately. But, um, so yeah, post fade immediately because I about to boom. Let me just do it on keyboard and mouse. So it's hold G and then double tap E and then hold E the whole way. Nothing too special there. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get this one done with. This one should be done in like four tries. Never mind. There you go. That is done. And there's probably going to be drop step dunk. Yeah, drop step standing dunk. And then that one's it. Uh, same idea, just go forward drop step. So uh, double tap, drop step, and then hold shift to dunk. So double tap, and then you got to shift to dunk. Make sure you do your drop step very low. That's one. It's nothing, it's not too hard to do. It's just timing the dunk is. Whenever you're playing as any inside build, you really got to learn all your timings. Apart from shot creators, the only timing they gotta learn is their jump shots. And this you got dunking timing, floater timing, layup timing, um, post fade timing, post hook timing. There's too much to. There's too many. There's too many timings to to learn. So if you're a post score and you know how to use it, props to you. You're really you're you're you got a lot. You got a lot to learn. And if you don't use these moves, like you gotta add these to your arsenal, my guy. But, yep, post fade tutorial done, post shot tutorial done, very simple. So let's get on with the last ones with our dribbling, simple dribbling and advanced dribbling. Advanced dribbling you guys have been having some issues with, so I'll try and help you guys out as much as possible. But, yeah, let's get on with that part of the video. Alright, welcome to simple dribbling tutorial. This one is very simple, everybody should be able to do this. Uh, but, yeah, basically, this one, simple dribbling is very, um bad let's just say basically simple dribbling is about flicking a certain direction to do a certain move and you're only limited and limited to some moves so uh basically worse the the thing you got to do is um so first things first let's learn jab steps so keyboard and mouse it's z and c right so z there c there and for key key controller is um right stick flick uh, switch hands, it's B for keyboard uh, controller and H for keyboard and mouse. Um, so basically, uh, so crossover is flicking your um, left, right stick to the left or cross or pressing Z. So Z there and um, left on the key on keyboard and mouse. Nothing too hard there. To do it behind the back, you gotta press C or flick to the or flick your right stick to the right. It's very awkward, I know. Uh, so spin is flicking upwards or pressing uh, X, I believe, or it's V. Sorry, so V. Um, and up is up on the key on the keyboard and mouse. So step back is down or X on keyboard and mouse. Nothing too hard there. Very simple. Um, I believe that's it too. Uh, iso dribbling. So iso dribbling is 
everything involved with sprinting. So this one should be a little bit difficult. Uh, very simple on simple dribbling, but on advanced it should be difficult. So uh, ISO cross is flicking, sprinting and flicking your right stick to the left and or on keyboard and mouse it's shift and pressing Z. Nothing too difficult there. Um, ISO dribbling is the uh, same thing for behind the back. Let's do the same thing here. So sprint behind the back. Um, ISO spin going upwards or uh, pressing V. Bada boom. Nothing too hard there. I, I highly doubt anybody should use this. So um, if you do not like simple dribbling, that should be the end of the, of the tutorial. But yeah, that's literally... I would I suggest everyone to put on advanced dribbling. Make sure it's turned on to advanced dribbling so that it's you get all the moves and it's a lot more like RB World uh, 3 and any real basketball game, if you will. But yeah, let's get on with the last one. And yeah, other than that, nothing else um, to really say. All right, let's get on with the last one. Advanced dribbling to be... Let's, let's try and beat this again. I, I remember I beat this pretty quickly last time, but... I'll try and do it on keyboard and mouse as well. Don't worry, but bear with me if I'm doing it on keyboard and mouse. So it's mainly for the combos that I'm talking about here. Um, so first things is we get a shooting play, uh, initiator. So basically you can combo with basically all dribble moves apart from some moves, but initiator makes it so you can. Unlike simple dribbling, so uh, certain dribble moves and puts can only be used depending on which ball the ball is in so that's why it's a lot easier to use advanced dribbling some dribble moves inputs start off with z left and some may start off with c right so just learning that is a little bit tougher so now you try performing every dribble move so we're gonna try and um get this down so jab step again you guys know this so it's z so make sure you get the pick a ball up so pick ball up and z or um, flicking the right stick, so uh, so switch hands. I'm, I picked up the ball, so I can't switch hands. So it's H and, and B. So B and H. There you go. Uh, manly switching. Uh, so perform a hezzy. So it's ball on the on the right hand. Um, you flick it to the right, or pressing Z. Uh, back hezzy is left and up, or z and v or c and v depending on which ball is in so it sits on the right hand it's c and v nothing really hard there crossover is a flicking to the opposite ball hand nothing hard there double crossover is flicking to the same ball hand twice so uh z z or or left left on ball on um left hand or a c c or right flick the right stick twice right for double crossover on the right side so as you can see very simple uh snatch back double down or x double x very simple step back just once x or back nothing hard there behind the back zx or left down on or um left down on keyboard and mouse so double behind the back is zxx or cxx um if you guys look there's like a line in between each input left and right so if the the input is on the left it means it's on uh you're using it when the ball's on your left hand if it's on the right that means it's on your right hand so uh right down down or i think it's cxx right cxx so cxx very simple move there uh spin is z this one is very simple on keyboard and mouse it is zxc or cxz uh while on keyboard and mouse or controller it's just basically doing a half circle from right to left or left to right depending on which ball the ball is in there you go um just make sure you're not sprinting for this one uh under front double up or double v under back it's vx or up back uh under side is vz or vc depending on which ball the ball is in so um right hand for controller would be up right or vc so uh let me just do this there you go very simple move this one's very good under double is the same thing except you're adding another um, C or Z so double thing I'll do it on uh, keyboard and mouse real quick so it's on left side so it's VZ so it's VZZ so let's do this doing VZZ there you go nothing too difficult there ISO to move by sprinting standing still or sprinting toward the hoop ISO dribble moves are basically when you're sprinting that's all really is next you'll try performing ISO dribble moves dribble moves so let's get it so ISO hezzy is moving to forwards and then hezzying um 
putting the ball, um, f uh, pressing Z or flicking your right stick to the uh, on ball hand. So since it's on the left side, you're pressing Z. Make sure you're sprinting. ISO crossover, opposite side. Nothing too difficult there. Um, yeah, nothing too hard there. Sorry if my explanation's not the best. I'm trying my hardest. This is a lot to take in. Uh, ISO double crossover, same simple. Uh, double X or uh, double Z or double C, double C on right hand and double Z on left hand. ISO behind the back, same thing while sprinting. Remember that. So ZX, there you go. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, ISO spin, ZXC, ZXC. Make sure you're sprinting. Uh, let me just do this on keyboard and mouse. There you go. Nothing too difficult there. ISO under underside. You make sure you're sprinting, and it's a VC or VZ, like I said earlier, VC. Uh, I forgot to sprint. Uh, so now it's becoming VZ. There we go. That's a nice move. I really like that. Um, now you could change over moves, and now the combos are here. So I'll try my hardest on keyboard and mouse, but bear with me. Um, so it is uh, crossover, crossover. It's just crossover, crossover, ZC. Nothing too hard there. Hezzy crossover. I'll do a keyboard and mouse. So it's C, Z, since it's on the right hand. Uh, back Hezzy into a behind the back. So it's uh, v C, Z, V into, into a Z, X. Uh, make and on key, key controller, it's left up and then left back. So left up, left back. Nothing too difficult there. Uh, I'll do this one on keyboard and mouse. So crossover, double behind the back crossover. So since it's on the right hand, Z, and then ZX, ZXX, and then Z, so Z, ZXX, C, there we go, nothing too difficult there. C controller player, it's just about flicking the right stick. Controller player, ISO crossover, back hezzy, behind the back. So, crossover, so this one's a little bit tougher, so ISO crossover, behind the back, or back hezzy into behind the back, so boom. Oh, I did have a spin move instead. So, crossover, back hezzy. So, make sure you're sprinting on the crossover. When it says ISO, it should be sprinting. So, uh, make sure your uh, your C is before the V or your right is before the up. So, boom, 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 behind the back. This one's very simple. Underside, underside, under double. So, it, I'll do this one on keyboard and mouse. So, it's VC, VC, VZZ. There you go. It's a lot tougher than it looks, guys. Back hezzy, um... ISO spin and um, step back. So boom, boom, boom. Very simple. Uh, ISO double crossover and then snatch back and then ISO spin. So very simple move uh, on keyboard and mouse. I'll do it here. So it's double crossover, double snatch back into an ISO spin. Very simple um, movement. It's a lot tougher than it looks. So this one you guys have been kind of stuck on. So I'll do it on keyboard and mouse on controller. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Very simple. Uh, 9 out of 10. So, ISO crossover, underside, back has the ISO spin step. Oh, my God. This is going to be tough for me. This one is going to take a little bit, so I'll try and get it down. So, Okay, so very, very tough. Very tough move, but um, I just got it down. So, basically, um, main part of the move is making sure you are... Um, comboing the move correctly and making sure you read the ISO dribbling down uh, but it didn't take me too long it only took me a few attempts so basically the main thing you got to do is look so basically it didn't show on the left but there was a um, under underside which is up left or uh, VC so basically all you got to do is add that VC in and it should be a bit easier um, if you guys want to look at the controller overlay again, you guys can. Don't worry about it. You guys can take your time. Uh, it took. It takes a long time to get used to. On keyboard and mouse, I don't even think I can do it. It's very tough. I might. You know what? I'll try it again on keyboard and mouse. I'll see. Let's see if I can do it. But yeah, that's basically the advanced tutorial. Nothing too. too uh, nothing big there. Um, I have officially completed all the tutorials. That is very nice to see. For some reason, I am not able to get the t trainee tutorial badge, which is pretty weird, but that's fine. I have completed all the tutorials, which is nice. But let's try it. I'll try and do that one move. The last one, I'll try and do it on keyboard and mouse. Let's see if I can do it. All right, change of plan. I am doing it on all on keyboard and mouse. All of it. 
completely all of it I'm doing on keyboard and mouse. So bear with me here. This is going to take a little bit. First one, crossover, crossover. This one is not that hard. ZC, not that hard. Hezzy crossover, CZ. Um, back Hezzy into behind the back. So it's v VZ into ZX. Sorry. Uh, Z, blah, blah, blah. CV into X into um, CX. So if it's on the right hand. So CV into CX. Nothing too hard there. Crossover, double behind the back. Crossover, crossover, double behind the back. Behind the back. Crossover. So C, CX, X, C. ISO cross back hezzy behind the back. So ISO cross. So C C Z sorry Z sprinting Z Z V Z X. This is a lot of mental thinking of just saying the words. Underside underside under double very easy. So V Z V C V Z Z. Very simple. Uh, back hezzy ISO spin step back. CV sprinting spin move step back there we go I double crossover snatch back iso spin ZC there we go that's not that hard let's go okay two more snatch back behind the back iso crossover step back so XX ZX sprinting Z step back let's go iso cross underside back has Z okay got it let's go I'll put the sequence up on the screen, but that is terrifyingly tough. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I feel like I am the tutorial genius right now. I have gone a lot of, um, a lot of, um, a lot of tickets from this. I get 50 tickets from the entire thing, so that's very worth it. You can easily buy yourself some stuff from the shop here. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. If you ever